The 138th Annual Canadian Exhibition kicked off Friday. Joining us today to tell us about it are the aerial acrobatics and skating show stars. Please welcome Olympians Joanny Rochette and Elvis Stoiko back in the building. <laughs> Good to see you both. Thank so, you. first of all, you kicked this off on Friday. You already have a few shows under the belt. Yeah, we already did three days, so it's two shows a day. Uh, it's quite intense. Uh, you need to take care of your body, but it's a, it's a great show. It's a family show, and there is something for everyone, even if you're not a skating fan. There is some acrobatics going on, some guys jumping on a trampoline in a wall, some contortionists, and even for us, I was just doing rehearsal. And it was hard to focus on my skating because I just wanted to watch them all, <laughs> yeah. and it's, it's a great show. You're distracted. So the shows yeah. are every day from 2 o'clock to 5 o'clock. Yeah, exactly. You've got another show today, and then you're running through from August uh, 26th to September 5th. Mm -hmm. Alvis, your first show is tomorrow. Yes. Through Thursday. Mm -hmm. Okay, so who else is taking part? Patrick Chan? <laughs> no, <Yes>. no, no, no. <laughs> is there not? No, no it's actually, it's, it's me and Elvis. We're, we're uh, skating in it and also a lot of um, synchronized skaters. Okay. Uh, they, uh, they won gold medal at the World Championships. They're part of the show and there's um, circus artists and oh. other kinds of artists. So it's really multidisciplinary. Thank mm -hmm. you. We were confused because we saw the Twitter <laughs> feed that was showing you three doing like hear no evil, see no evil behind. Does that oh, ring that, a bell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I saw that feed. Someone grabbed it and threw it on. But that was from, that was, yeah, that was from from Stars on Ice we did oh this year. Oh, that was from yeah. Stars on Ice yeah, yeah, and that playing was, soccer. That was also yeah, from that. Yeah, it was all Stars on Ice, yeah. Okay, yeah, we good. did that earlier this year. So what do you love oh, about yeah. these shows? You know, getting out of the competitive realm. We just saw the Olympics closed yesterday. You know, as Olympic athletes, how does this differ and how do you enjoy it differently than performing on that world stage? It's, uh, well, it, it's a lot less stressful. I mean, there's a certain amount of anxiety when you're going to perform because we want to do our best. Uh, but we can enjoy, we can kind of, lay back a little you don't have to try all the hard stuff which is great but we can try the fun stuff that gets the crowd going and you can connect a little bit more with the people mm -hmm. and and enjoy the music a little bit more where the in, intensity of olympics is just so high it's never a comfortable place to be mm -hmm. you know sometimes we think why did i put myself through this <laughs> but but when it's all said and done you're like oh thank god but when you're in it it's just it's a pressure cooker so this is it's it's a lot more fun for this and i love doing the cne it's a it's a great event and we have great uh, great crowds that come and, and uh, doing two shows a day. It's hard on the body, but we enjoy it, and the crowd's been awesome. So will you be eating any of that delicious c &E fair food in between shows, or are you going to lay off the ice cream waffles, corn dogs, and cricket dogs? I think I'll wait until towards the end, <laughs> the end? maybe, like the last few days. Uh, of course, I want to try some of it, but it looks pretty, um, pretty heavy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> how do you guys decide with your huge repertoire of choreography and music and costumes, how do you decide, like you just said, people pleaser and crowd pleaser, how do you decide which ones are the ones that make it for a half hour show? It, it's sometimes it, it's it's tricky. Uh, it's years of experience and knowing um, different crowds want different things. Like if you skate in Europe, there's a different crowd oh. there in Japan. In North America, kind of get an idea of what the Canadian and American crowds want. So um, it's years of experience that way. And hopefully, sometimes you have a hit, and sometimes there's some that some songs or some programs don't quite get it and you have to adjust they don't yeah. connect yeah and you, you do one show and then sometimes you you keep adjusting it show after show yeah. until you get the right connection with the audience and mm -hmm. then the program can work or right off the bat it works it's it just, a winner yeah sometimes you have to work at it well you two on the ice for us of course always delight pure winners and make sure you check them out guys see them at the canadian exhibition today runs through until september 5th go check out their shows at 2 and 5 p.m stay well and enjoy the food fair at the end of your routine okay guys right now over to kevin the newsroom